Master SEO training. Before we really look into what exactly is SEO and uh, details into SEO techniques, let's first look into some definitions and some information or say uh, data figures and facts so that it will help us understand SEO and its importance better. Basically SEO is a part of search engine marketing or we call SEM. The purpose of SEM is uh, to generate business to reach out to larger number of audience through website. Search engine marketing is we can say it's an online marketing or internet marketing of your website your business websites so that maximum possible number of audience will find your website uh, there are two techniques of SEM one is SEO and the other is uh, BBC it's called pay per click SEO is nothing but it's uh, achieving search visibility through organic listing or natural listing natural results and uh, pay per click is achieving search visibility through advertising or sponsored results or uh, paid results now the aim of both uh, SEO and BBC is to rank your website in top position or say first position in Google search or any other uh, uh, respective search engines now the difference is SEO is obtained without paying anything to search engine and PPC is obtained with a specific amount depending on uh, type of business and depending on search term so uh, using any techniques you can achieve good rankings of your website in search engine results page now organic listing or natural results is nothing but obtaining good positions by uh, natural means that is uh, totally depending on quality of your website or say backlinkings and uh, other features other activities which we will be uh, looking into details in the following slides and uh, PPC is obtained for specific keywords you pay to you pay the search engine depending on uh, the competition and uh, depending on the uh, search searches so for every keyword you, you'll have to pay uh, specific amount so so that you get your website will be displayed on results page now what exactly is a search engine the search engine is a computer function or a program that searches data available on internet for specified keywords and returns list of results so what basically this search engine program does is that it collects all the information of every website available in in the world say in the, in the internet world and it stores in in its large database and whenever a user finds uh, searches anything depending on that particular word particular search terms this particular search engine program will find from its database and whichever is most relevant to the specific words keywords it will return the results traffic traffic is nothing but its number of visitors on your site when a user comes or lands to your website then that is called traffic so there are different ways in which people can come to your website so there are three types of traffic first is direct traffic second is referral traffic or indirect traffic 
and third is traffic from search engines now direct traffic is when people types your uh, say URL directly say abc.com or xyz uh, dot dot in and lands your website that is called direct traffic and a referral traffic or indirect traffic is when people finds your website uh, say website link in any other say social sites or uh, any other article sites if they find your website and if they click there and come to your website or if they find your website in say in, in email signature of yours and uh, people come to your website through through those links then that is called indirect traffic or referral traffic now the third type of traffic is traffic which comes from search engines like Google Yahoo Bing when your website is listed in good positions in these search results and people find your website and comes to your website that is uh, called traffic from search engines now the next is conversion when visitor becomes buyers now when a when a user lands your website by any, any any means direct referral or from search engines they are called uh, visitors now some may may not like your website or his intention may not uh, his intention may be different from your website's uh, uh, offering so he may close your website or he may jump onto another website but there there are some users which will like your website and if he starts browsing your website more and more if he goes for I into other pages and uh, if he spends more time on your website then they are called potential customers and finally when they end up buying your product or your service then they become conversion or leads next the importance of SEO or importance of search engine optimization <coughs> first 85 percent of all website traffic originate from a search engine now as we have discussed before there are three types of traffic that that can come to your website one is through direct indirect and from search engine so among these three 85% of traffic comes from search engine so it's very important for a website to rank in good position in search engine results then you, ca you can get the maximum number of traffic to your website which will increase your maximize the conversion rate Second, SEO is six times more effective than a banner ad. The reason is when somebody is uh, searching, say, for a laptop, say a person wants to buy a laptop, so he has intention of buying laptop. He will go to Google and he will he will type whatever relevant keywords like buy laptop, purchase laptop, check out laptops and of course you he, he, he will check out you compare the prices you, uh, of all different types of companies and different types of uh, uh, how to say uh, laptop uh, providers and uh, he will end up buying any one of those but then about the banner ad banner ad is not necessarily it's uh, relevant suppose you're s searching you are on one website searching for a say more information or uh, any features or characteristics say about the laptop and uh, you, you, you can see some ads on uh, top just below navigation bar on or on the right right hand side right navigation but you'll find that those ads it, it's not necessarily relevant to what you are uh, searching for suppose you're on laptop page and you'll see uh, banner ad of about the sunglasses or say about a pen about a mobile etc and that doesn't serve your intention so the probability of 
people landing up on those bannerets is much lesser and that's the reason SEO is more effective next point SEO delivers qualified leads as we have just discussed people are finding in search results in search engines say Google with specific intention and uh, they search and they serve all different sites they compare and of course they purchase the product or service so SEO delivers conversion 55% of online purchases are made on site found through search engine listings so when I, I want to buy a laptop uh, the most common thing that I will do is I'll just open a Google and I will put the name of uh, sp uh, name of the laptop that I uh, I'm looking for and there will be different different company websites listing of course I'm going to check out all those and I'm going to buy it so that's uh, 55 percent of online purchases are made on site found through search engine listings top 30 results receive over 90 percent of search and traffic now if you see either Google or Bing if you search anything the results that they display contains uh, 10 websites basically so it's like they have every page has uh, 10 uh, 10 results now when you say top 30 we are talking about the first three pages like people will, will search different websites which are listed on first page and uh, some may go to second pages if they don't find uh, what they want and very few may line up to third pages as well but they will probably not go to fourth fifth and the remaining pages instead they will change their search term words and uh, they will try to find uh, find different websites so it is very important for a website to rank on top three pages first uh, three pages or say top 30 results next is this is called hit chart hit is nothing but where uh, people clicks on the on the results in uh, search engine results page so the page the page that you see here this is nothing but this is uh, Google's page this is Google's result page and if we see on this left hand side actually these are the results that is uh, displayed by Google for specific keywords so there are 10 results and uh, this red mark red color mark indicates where maximum people clicks on this area and uh, brown and yellow indicates a uh, little bit lesser and blue color indicates uh, mo uh, lesser again further lesser so this indicates where most people clicks on the results of a search engine page and of course we know that first second third results they get most clicks or they get most uh, traffic from uh, from the visitors and if we see on the right hand side it has got uh, very few clicks on first second or third third results now the reason is <coughs> one reason is it is tendency of human eye to look from left to right so when a person sees the computer screen at first his tendency is to start looking from left to right and the second reason would be the left the left listing is is a re is a natural result result or it's a results coming through SEO and the right hand side is nothing but this these are Google AdWords or uh, paper click results PBC result now many are aware that this SEO result or natural result these websites they obtained first second third or these top positions just because of their high quality uh, high quality and 
uh, the best services or uh, the huge number of traffic that they receive so depending on that depending on that they got the first top positions and people are aware that these are the best possible uh, websites among all these listings here and while this uh, right inside this BBC result these are obtained or these websites are listed on this uh, first second positions just by paying to Google so nobody can be sure that they provide the best products or they provide the best services but they are listed here just because they, they paid the highest number of amount to Google from rest of the below uh, websites so that's all for now up to this heat chart the remaining slides we'll see in the next presentation thank you